Hi everyone, uh, my name is Stefano Chida. Uh, I'm currently doing something called the Bachelor of Philosophy Honours Degree. Um, so my first three years of studies, I did Medical Sciences with a second major in French. Um, I'm currently doing uh, an Honours year in Public Health and I'm enrolled in Medicine for next year. Um, I, always, I started um, learning French in year seven and I've always had a passion for languages and I started learning Italian like when I was a baby because my mum always spoke to me Italian, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, in my spare time, I like uh, reading, watching movies, playing tennis, and uh, spend time with my dog. You were raised speaking Italian at home. Why did you feel privileged for this? Do you have a message for those students who speak another language at home? Um, yeah, I feel really grateful that my mum always spoke to me in Italian. Um, like that started when I was born, so I guess. It, it was much easier for me to learn Italian than if, then than if I'd learned it at an adult level because um, I guess humans are evolved to pick up languages easier when they're babies and when they're kids um, and to absorb more information and vocabulary, etc. So that was really cool and I got to learn um, Italian to like a fluent level very quickly and that's something I've grown up with so yeah, I'm really, really grateful for that. Um, in addition, I feel that learning Italian uh, when I was young allowed me to access like a really significant part of my cultural heritage, I guess, um, in terms of like communicating with family members um, in Italy and being able to make friends with people in Italian and just knowing um, how they see the world and seeing, seeing the world the way they see it. Um, so that was really cool. Um, I think learning another language really early on helped me to get a better understanding of like um, other cultures and other countries and it instilled a love of travel and, and other countries in me and I've travelled a lot since then. Um, and I feel that learning another language really opened my eyes to that aspect of life, which was cool. Um, in terms of a message to other people who are learning, like, uh, or speaking another language at home, I would say that when you're young, sometimes it's hard to see um, the use of learning another language. Um, sometimes, like, we, we do live in a largely monolingual country, um, so I guess a lot of people at school maybe just speak one language, and sometimes you feel like, oh, I don't really need this other language that we speak at home, but I feel that as you grow up, you realise all the benefits that learning another language gives you. And I, I remember when I was really young, like one of the most common questions I would get asked about speaking Italian is like, oh, tell me some swear words in Italian. <laughs> um, but I think like as you grow up, um, you realise there's a lot more benefits to learning another language than just knowing the root words, although I guess that's a conversation starter as well. <laughs> Thank you. I studied uh, languages in the form of French. Uh, in year seven, uh, and I chose French because I, I travelled a bit in Europe, and I was interested in the culture, and I knew that learning another language would be uh, the French language would be a good way to getting more insight into that culture. Um, I really enjoyed learning French at school. That atmosphere in class was really fun and enjoyable, and we had a, a really good teacher um, who was a native French speaker as well, which was helpful. And uh, she really inspired us all, and we made a lot of close friends, and actually still in touch with the teacher as well. So um, that was really great. Um, I, I chose to continue my studies in French at, at uni uh, in the form of a second major um, and I felt that that helped to increase my proficiency in the language in terms of learning more um, grammar rules but also something that was I guess a bit more fun was engaging more with French films and French literature and exploring ideas from, uh, from that culture and that country in, in greater depth. So that was really helpful. Um, something else I really loved about my language learning journey was um, well, probably the highlight of it actually was going on exchange. Um, and I got to do that in second year, second semester. So I went for six months six months to um, l'Université de Grenoble Alpes, which is the University of Grenoble Alps. Um, that was really cool. It was a small campus in the, in the French Alps. Um, so I got to do some skiing, meet, uh, and fully immerse myself in the French culture. Um, and I made a lot of uh, friends from actually a variety of different countries because there was a big international group of students there, which is cool. But I also made some French friends who I'm still in touch with today, um, and one of them actually visited uh, as part of his gap year um, in Perth, which is cool, so I showed him around Perth. Um, and another useful thing actually about languages, which I guess a lot of people don't realise, is that um, it can be a cool way to communicate with, with people when you don't want others to understand you. So, for example, like, um, if you're at a family friend's house or a family dinner and you want to leave, you can just tell your parents, oh, this is getting really boring, let's go, and people won't understand. So that's always helpful as well. Stefano, 
Tell us about your experience of combining languages with your medical studies at UWA. How do you think you'll be able to use your language skills in your future career as a doctor? Um, learning medical sciences and French at the same time was an interesting experience. Um, it, was, it was good in that like I could study one of them and then when I got too bored I could switch to the other one, so that was, that was pretty good. Um, and it also, I feel that it taught me two different styles of thinking and helped to give me a broader undergraduate education in that um, in my medical sciences studies there was more of an emphasis on like um, methodical and logical thinking and in French there was perhaps more of an emphasis on uh, abstract thinking. Uh, for example, when we were you know, discussing the themes and ideas in uh, books and movies. So it was cool to have that variety in my undergraduate education. Um, sorry, let me just put back here. Um, yeah, I felt that medical sciences and French were similar in the way that they both trained my memory really well. Um, and it was important to read around both topics to get a broad knowledge base and succeed in both in both topics. So um, that was a good experience to learn both at the same time. In terms of my future career, I think um, my, my language studies will continue to be really beneficial. Um, I feel that learning languages helped me to be more open-minded and to see things from uh, other people's perspectives more effectively. So if I were practicing as a doctor, I feel that these would be really good uh, translatable skills as I could understand patients' perspectives perhaps better. And also, of course, if there were patients who only spoke, uh, say, Italian or French, I could communicate with them in, in their native language and perhaps get a better diagnostic picture of what's going on. So I think that could be helpful. Um, additionally, in, in medicine and also in a variety of careers, almost every career, there's a lot of um, opportunities that can be open if you speak another language. Uh, for example, in, in terms of medicine, there's a lot of not-for-profit organisations and also research institutes that are, that are French, that are uh, very well known, and very prestigious. Um, for example, Médecins Sans Frontières is a not-for-profit um, organisation which is very well known and a knowledge of French would be helpful for anyone who is interested in working in that area. So, yeah, I think um, a knowledge of languages is really invaluable for um, for people in medical sciences and also in other careers as well.